Hi, this is Greg Jones, Site All Sales and Technical Service. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to replace a valve on a Site All Chromatic. Now, in previous videos, you've um, you've probably heard me discuss about how valves need to be perfectly flat. And I have a saying, as many of you uh, have probably heard, is that um, you know a, a, a damaged valve is really worse than no valve at all. So if you have a valve that has a crease in it or it won't sit flat, it's most likely either getting stuck or making a real annoying popping noise, and it's really not giving you a whole lot of value. And in general, it, it needs to be replaced. Sometimes you can just pull the valve off and you won't see any difference in, in um, performance of the harmonica. And actually, uh, you'll be better off because you won't hear that, that popping noise or, you know, be annoyed by that. Anyhow, so in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to quickly replace a valve on your side L chromatic. So I have, um, here I have a deluxe steel. I've already removed the covers. And as you can see, uh, I need a valve here on uh, hole three, and then I need some uh, down at the other end. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove valve two uh, on hole two as well and show you how to do that. So even though that valve is intact and in good shape, I'm still going to go ahead and replace it. So what I'm using is a razor blade. You can use whatever, um, you know, whatever, whatever you can do, you can just pull the valve off. But um, there's a little bit of surface prep that we need to go through before we replace um, these valves. So a couple things. First of all, make sure you're working um, under, you know, make sure you're working on a napkin or something like that. That way if you have screws that come loose, they don't go flying everywhere. And then secondly, I like to keep the, uh, I like to keep these bumpers, these uh, cover braces, I like to keep them attached uh, when I'm working. That way, uh, that way they keep the harmonica uh, elevated slightly and you're not resting on the um, on the reeds themselves. I actually have a special um, jig or device that I use when I'm working on chromatics, but I understand that many of you will not have that, so I'll go ahead and uh, and just work on the table like you'll be doing. So what I need to do is I need to clean off uh, the glue residue there, and you can do that any number of ways. I have some tools that do it, uh, but it's just real important that all that residue come off. So what I like to do is a little engraver. You can use whatever you want, sandpaper, whatever you can use. Even uh, an alcohol pad uh, will sometimes work. You just want to make sure that all of that residue is off. Because if that valve uh, doesn't sit flat on the plate, it's going to translate to a lot of space. Uh, down uh, down the reed slot and it just it just won't work right so we want to make sure we do that so what I'll do is I'll I'll make sure I get all the glue residue off and then I have another tool a little rotating uh, uh, rotary tool that I use to kind of smooth that off this is not necessary for you okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to get the adhesive now this is the adhesive I use it's called Aileen's Fabric all right, fabric fusion. It's a clear epoxy, uh, and it cleans up really well. Uh, it, you know, it peels right off. You get it on your fingers, it peels right off. It's really strong. It's waterproof, non-toxic. Uh, the only downside to to it is that it does um, it does take a while to dry, and so you want to keep an eye on your um, on your work to make sure your reeds don't shift or anything like that. Um, so you do it does take it does take a little while to completely set up. Now before I install these valves, one thing I want to bring to your attention is these valves are just barely wider than the slot. Okay? And and that's by design. We don't want them to be too wide. In other words, we want we don't want them touching too much of the surface area. Okay? Cuz the, the the more the more surface area they touch, the more they can um, you know, the more they'll stick you know, and um, the heavier they'll be. So we want them to be just wide enough to cover the slot, but they have to be installed straight so that there's no gaps there. And that can be a little bit tricky. So I have a little technique I use. What I do is I will engrave or etch a line right, right at the end of that slot and right at the top. And basically that, that just kind of creates 
a center line that goes uh, a center line that goes you know that go that runs the slot there. And that's just kind of my uh, that helps me eyeball it a little bit better and keep it straight. So now what I'm going to do is I take some of this Aileen's uh, fabric fusion glue and usually I'll put a little on the on the just on my napkin there and just to see how it comes out make sure I get the air bubbles out and then what I'm going to do is I'll just put a little bit right there right on the rivet head and then a little bit more right on this rivet head and then we'll get my valves remember I have a two slot and a three you can buy these valves uh, directly from Seidel or buy them from me either way and I use tweezers to handle them I always use tweezers and I'll just set that valve right there nice it down a little bit as you can see some of that glue is going to bubble up a little bit I can use a razor to get some of that off although it really doesn't hurt anything uh, so I got the two on there and I just kind of make sure that my lines you know that the lines kind of split that valve and that looks to me like it's on straight now gra grab the three and I'll give that one of course these are going to be easier because they're on the outside on the top exterior of the plate and it's a little trickier when you have to take it all apart and do it on the inside center Mind up now once again this glue takes a little bit of time to dry and so uh, you just need to kind of keep an eye on these uh, for a little bit um, I mean I wouldn't I won't be moving the harmonica for another hour um, at least I don't know it, it, there, it I could probably handle it after 30 minutes but just make sure make sure we give it plenty of time if you're using the saline's fabric glue and then um, I have another Another valve that needs to be replaced. That's going to be 12, 11, 10, 9. It's going to be on the 9 hole. So I'll go ahead and put a little dab of glue right there. This one looks a little bit long. I may go back and just trim the bottom of that one a little bit. Uh, and I, yeah, so I've got that one on there straight. Now all I gotta do is just sit and, uh, and wait for these to dry. Anyhow, thank you for tuning into this video where I demonstrate how to um, how to replace a valve, and it's not too complicated. And once again, um, I'll show you the uh, the glue I use. You can buy it from me, or you can get it online. But it's going to be Fabric Fusion. It uh, it's kind of a fabric glue, and like I said, it's it's really it's a non toxic, uh, clear uh, epoxy based glue, and it's it's worked real well for me. Um, I will bring up one uh, one other item. Um, I, I'm asked quite often about the use of super glue. I do not recommend it. Uh, super glue dries too quickly and it dries very hard uh, and it's, it's just really difficult to remove. So I wouldn't have super glue um, in the same house as your chromatic harmonica, much less would I use it to glue valves. And um, I get quite a few harmonicas in where players have tried to use super glue and have messed it up and it's an extremely costly um, repair. Uh, generally speaking because um, there's no way to get the super glue off of that one slot without damaging uh, sometimes even the reeds or the valves surrounding it so I generally have to dunk the entire reed plate um, and fingernail polish remover or something so I can just dissolve all of that that's in there so I do not recommend uh, super glue under any circumstances anyhow I hope this video was helpful as usual like subscribe and uh, check out my uh, website 1623customharmonicas.com